Today is April 3rd, 2018, and I'm looking to swap out my Pioneer 4201 NEX radio with the Pioneer 5201 NEX radio. I'm doing this because I thought I could get by with CarPlay and everything, but I guess I had never used CarPlay, and when I used it, I, I'm not as happy because I go to locations that internet service is spotty. So when using Google and stuff like that, I don't want to have to worry about downloading maps and then they delete after a certain amount. I don't want to worry about that. I want a GPS that has uh, a GPS system inside. I was hoping to be able to use any app on CarPlay because I do have nav apps, but they're on the phone. I'd like to sort of like mirror that app to CarPlay or have it show up on CarPlay, not needing internet, just um, downloaded maps, offline maps. But it doesn't work that way. So I saw this on Best Buy, the Pioneer 5201 NEX for, uh, it's an open box for about 540. So I decided I'm gonna upgrade it because it has, the 5201 has onboard GPS. Now I looked and really the only two differences I saw on the internet and on YouTube and different descriptions was that the 5201 has onboard nav and it doesn't come with the camera. Whereas the 4201 has no on offline nav, but comes with a camera. So I already have the camera installed and everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sell this on eBay. Hopefully I could get, you know, about $300 and I can make some of my money back. But after using uh, CarPlay for about, I'd say about three or four months, I need the onboard nav. It's just, uh, I like it. I want to use my phone for other things sometimes and I want to look through the map. I don't want to have to look at my phone. So let's take a look and see how easy it is. I'm hoping since the model numbers are very similar that it will just be a swap out. So let's see what happens. So this is what comes in the open box. Literature. I believe it keeps the same warranty. Uh, as a regular Pioneer or probably one year. Uh, I'm just assuming that because I usually buy open boxes from Best Buy and they usually, it's the same as if you bought a new one when it comes to warranty. Double check, but that's what I'm assuming. This is the wiring. And this is the radio. So I'm hoping all I'm gonna need here might be the GPS antenna I think that this has an input for. So this is the actual radio. That's the top of it. That's the front of it. And the front of this is like almost identical to the front of that. I think it's off by such a small amount. I mean, maybe a little bit more shaving down on the edges here for the, because I bought this also aftermarket, the frame. So it might need some more shaving down. So this is the unit in the front. CD-ROM goes here. And I think this is 6.1 inches and the other one is a seven inch screen. Now I'm not a radio guy regular guy just looking to upgrade my radio i don't know anything about radios i used to when i was a kid i haven't put in a radio since i was a teenager so this is actually the first radio in several years that i've ever touched i usually am happy with the aftermarket so this is the unit in the back and i'm hoping it matches up exactly to this one
Okay, I hope it's as easy as swapping it out. Let me check it out. So I think the connections, besides the 5201 having a GPS connection, I think the connections, the uh, back of the radio is identical. So the top one, let me make sure I, I can't see what I'm filming, so bear with me. The top one is the 5201. And I think the only difference is that I believe that green area is the GPS connection. Brown plug, which I'll be using. And all the other plugs. Should fit just fine. And then this is the 4201. Same thing, that one's missing the GPS connection, as you can see. I don't know if you can see both. So that's the connection. So hopefully I'm just swapping out. So everything did fit, um, all the connections were the same, except this one has a GPS um, antenna, and I realized that the radio I have, after pulling it out because I couldn't see it, this one has the HDMI port, so you could do um, direct connection from your phone to HDMI. Um, but honestly, I don't use that. It's just a wire, it's been there forever. I really don't use it. You can't use it while you're driving. So um, I'm not gonna miss that at all. So that's 
the other difference between the two uh, radios. No HDMI port on the 52 volt. That's the nav, that's what I want. Reverse camera is working. Reverse. And um, Bluetooth and CarPlay all work. Um, and oh, and, and the reverse. Let me just. So I think the connections, besides the 5201 having a GPS connection, I think the connections, the uh, back of the radio is identical. So the top one, let me make sure. I, I can't see what I'm filming, so bear with me. The top one is the 5201. And I think the only difference is that I believe that green area is the GPS connection. Brown plug, which I'll be using. And all the other plugs. Should fit just fine. And then this is the 4201. 
Same thing, that one's missing the GPS connection, as you can see. So I don't know if you can see both. So that's the connection. So hopefully I'm just swapping out. So everything did fit, um, all the connections were the same, except this one has a GPS um, antenna, and I realized that the radio I have, after pulling it out because I couldn't see it, this one has the HDMI port, so you could do um, direct connection from your phone to HDMI, um, but honestly, I don't use that, it's just a wire, it's been there forever. I really don't use it. You can't use it while you're driving. So um, I'm not gonna miss that at all. So that's the other difference between the two uh, radios. No HDMI port on the 52 volt. went well all the wires connected fine and um, Bluetooth and CarPlay all work um, and, oh, and and the reverse let me just 